Hello everybody, welcome back to the Diesel Driven channel. You cannot see me, but I am here and we have a new video today and a new idea. So this is what I've been trying to do for a while. It's gonna be a career simulation for one of my favorite players. And the player, as you can see by the thumbnail, is Diesel Driven, long time fan favorite, Winthrop star standout, and kind of IRL NBA player, Chandler Vaudrin. So Chandler tore his ACL when he was given a shot last year and never really got back. So he wasn't really given a fair shake. And I think that's not fair because he's kind of a unique player and I really want to see how he would do in today's NBA. So I made him and put him into this newest draft class and we're just going to simulate everything. We're not going to touch it at all. We're going to see who drafts him. We're just going to follow him along. We're not going to do anything and see what kind of career he can put together. So I'm the Sixers now, but that's just random because it was the first team. As soon as we find out who he's going to, we will be with them. We're going to see the draft lottery here. I don't know how high he's going to go, but you know, we're just going to, we're going to see what the top of the order looks like. Oh, wow. Kings can't wait for them to screw this up. He's probably going to be a back end lottery pick. I made him like eh, decent, but I didn't want to overpower him. So, uh, you know, we'll see, but this is the order. So we're all the way up to the draft. We're going to get it started here. It's really relaxing, not having to do all this crap, letting the uh, CPU handle it for me. So I'm going to, you know, zip through here. Who, who? This is actually the draft for this class. So I don't know who that Moore guy is. I've never heard of him. Jalen Suggs now goes first. So I'm going to zip through until we find him. And there we go with the 43rd pick in the draft. The New Orleans Pelicans finally take our man off the board. They're after a point guard who can out muscle. That is what he is. So 43 to New Orleans. So that is the team we are going to be dealing with. I do not care in the slightest about the rest of this. No one else matters to me. I mean, look at some of these names, though. I've never heard of some of these guys. They just made him up, I guess. Let's see what he looks like. He is uh, da, 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 right there, 74. Good pick for right there. Should be able to uh, make the roster pretty easily. So let's go take a look at it. So here's the Pelicans roster. This is as of like June 21. So it's a little outdated, and they obviously, you know, Lonzo has to still be re-signed. But this is what they have now. So we're going to do free agency and all that nonsense. You know, we're just going to send them to the next season. We'll see what they got, you know, when we get there. Okay, so nice little fun fact here. It turns out the Pelicans did not sign Vodger, and they picked him, but they did not choose to sign him to his second round contract because you're not mandated to. So he went to free agency and he was picked up by none other than the New York Knicks. And it looks like they're going to give him the keys to the offense. He's the best point guard they have in the team here. Pretty big contract, two years, 16 million. Let's look through the roster here. They still have quickly Tracy Garrett, who I've never heard of. You know, of course, they have RJ Barrett. They picked up Norman Powell. And of course, they still have Kevin Knox for some reason. Randall and Toppin, and then Jared Allen comes here. So Mitchell Robinson and Jared Allen, a formidable center duo. I feel like this is a pretty good team. Got a lot of size. A little young and inexperienced in the backcourt, but definitely room to grow. Oh, they got Kevin Knox's little brother too, Freddie Knox. How about that? As we are now the Knicks, as that is our new favorite Vaudrin team. We're just going to sim to the All-Star break. I'm not going to do anything, and we're just going to, you know, let it handle itself, and uh, we'll come back and check it then. How about that? Okay, we've arrived at the All-Star break. We are 39-20, and 20, an outstanding record for the Knicks. Vaudrin started at 74. He's already up to a 77, so he's improved by three points. I don't know in what, but he has gone up by uh, three total overalls, which is a very good improvement for just half a season. Here are his stats. They're not using him a whole lot. He's actually the backup point guard, so he's only averaging 5, 3, 3, but uh, pretty good shooting splits on 61, 0, and 58, as his advanced stats are you know, pretty solid. So he's doing pretty well. I'm not sure how much he's playing at point guard, how much he's playing at the wing spots, which are kind of an odd backup position, but that are those are his backup spots. So it is accurate. They're using him a little bit. He is playing well. But let's finish out the season and see what, uh, what they can do. All right, we're at the end of the season here. The awards, James Harden actually picked up an MVP. Pretty cool for him. LaMelo Ball was Rookie of the Year. I guess this is that class. Yeah, well, he threw up 23, 5-5. Five five. Yeah, he's going to win. Kemba, Greek Boy, Devontae, Nate McMillan, who I don't remember who coaches. Coach of the Year, very interesting. Boring, boring. Ooh, Julius Randle, second team. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, defense, I don't have high hopes. Rookies, rookies. Nothing. That's too bad. Okay. Oh, well. Let's go look at some stats for the final year as we ended up as the third seed in the East. So hopefully there will be a playoff run. Let's go see the regular season stats. So Vaudrin did end the season at 77. So with that three point increase over the year, which is still pretty solid. He ended up ticked up a little bit since the All-Star break. Ended up with six, four and seven assists. Seven assists to only one and a half turnovers. That's very, very good. 
Uh, looks like he ticked up his shots as well. His per 36 numbers, you know, he's not he's not a stat guy. He's just a little guy. He's a little things kind of guy, you know. Um, an outstanding pure point rating, though. That's what absolutely that's one of the best in the league. We'll have to go check that next. But, you know, pretty solid rookie year. No awards, but, you know, this is something definitely to build off of. As the rookie report goes, he is the number one when it comes to assists among rookies, which is very impressive. And for turnovers, he is extremely low actually he's down oh my lord he's like in the 40s almost like mm, there he is he's 45th in turnovers and first in assists that is incredible but enough about mr vaudrin this is in fact a team game so we'll go here to the playoffs and see what our fearless knicks can do you know new york's rocking well we're losing game one to miami that's not a great start oh boy no no not like this. Oh, Knicks lost in five to the Heat. I mean, they are rioting in Manhattan right now. That is embarrassing. Uh, we're going to sim through this. Like, why not? We'll get to the offseason. So the Pelicans actually won the title. They were the number one seed in the West. They only lost two games. So I guess they made the right choice by not picking up Vaudrin. But uh, still, that must sting. He got drafted by the Pelicans, but no ring. That's tough. Yeah, we don't have to do anything here. We're just going to sim through this, and uh, he has one more year left in his contract, so he should still be a Nick, theoretically, but we'll check when we get to the new season. Okay, the new season is upon us. Vaudrin is still a 77 overall, although it looks like he has a firm grasp on the starting point guard job now, so he should get more run this season. The team looks pretty unchanged. Uh, yep. Well, actually, no, we lost uh, Mitchell Robinson. He's gone. Hassan Whiteside's in, though, so, you know, pretty cool. Uh, so this team still looking pretty good, so we should have a pretty good run this year, but uh, let's get in there and sim it, and let's see what happens. Okay, end of the season here, Luca gets the MVP. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Jonathan Isaac finally reaches his potential. Don't know who that is. And Stevie Nash of the Nets gets it. All right, very cool, very cool. Through here, do we see any Knicks? Any Knicks, any... Oh, Julius Randle, back-to-back, all-NBA second team. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, nope, 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 and I really don't care. Let's see what the end of the season looks like for us. We are the 10 seed. We squeaked in to the play-in game. L. Immediate L. We stink. That's fine. We're going to sim through this, check out some stats at the end of the year, which is going to be all right. So, the Pelicans, uh, back-to-back champions um i mean these guys are really good i don't know why they didn't keep Vaudrin, but it must sting a little bit but let's go back and look at some stats so in his second year a slight increase in points another rebound and two more assists shooting went down but i think he took more shots nope he didn't he uh he did just about exactly the same efficiency went down a little bit his true shooting went down by 12 percent but you know he's he's breaking into he's still young his contract is up he did not resign so we're gonna see maybe he has a new team this offseason so they did offer him the qualifying offer so they will have a chance to match anything that he gets but we're gonna go through a free agency and see what happens so Vaudrin did in fact re-sign with the Knicks a slight increase for him nine nine and a half so he's up to a career earning total of about uh, 35 million dollars right here not too bad for a second round pick all right here's the roster for season three Vaudrin's still the best point guard I don't know if he's gonna get to start they seem to be a little bit weird about that quickly still there hasn't gotten any better for some reason norm powell's falling off a cliff julius Randle. i never thought i'd say this is the only hope for the knicks and mitchell robinson's back willie collie stein they drug him out of europe or something i don't know anyway this is our team we're simming the season let's see what happens award time trey young don't know who this is cole anthony six man of the year with 20 points all right pretty cool jonathan isaac best defender ever who alvin Gen oh wait no the pelicans that's right they're god tier we see some nicks on here nicks Ooh, julius randall's reign of terror has ended i don't see any it's, mm. Mm, that's not a good sign. Did we make it? We're the 10 seed again. Good lord. Are we going to make it? Do we do we think we're going to make the playoffs? Because I don't think so. Nope. Immediate L. I mean, as soon as possible, we are out of these playoffs. Let's sim them. In seven games, the Pacers finally unseat the Pelicans, led by Nikola Jokic, who somehow made his way to Indianapolis. I'm not sure 
We are not doing well. I hope this team makes some changes in the offseason. Here are Vaudrin's stats on the season. A little bit higher points, a little bit less assists, a little bit less rebounding. He did go up a point overall to 78, so he's pretty solid, but he's kind of flatlined here. This might be the cap for this team. If I was him, I would leave New York, but that's just me. Going into season four here, here is the roster. We can actually see Vaudrin. He went up another point. He's up to 79 overall. This team is led by Julius Randle, Mitchell Robertson, who's going to stay this time, I guess. Gary Trent's in town, Vaudrin. Tracy Garrett, our backup point guard's name is uh, Bernie Cheeks, and I mean, <laughs> this is a top tier generated name, I mean, come on. Also, we have like four point guards of the same. Who is building this roster? Dolan, get lost. Anyway, let's do season four. Awards time, Christopher Gibson. I mean, 18, 12, and five is pretty good, but I don't think I don't think that's NBA uh, MVP level. But whatever. Scott Richardson, De'Aaron Fox, all right. Giannis Boy again, and Alvin Gentry. Cool, cool. Julius Randle slithering back into the third team, although he is starting to drop a little bit. That's too bad. And oh, we had a rookie. Oh, his ankle's inside out, but you know that's all right. He made the All Rookie First Team. Did we do well? We have 46 wins. And we are the third seed again. Okay, okay, we're back now, boys. We are absolutely back. Let's simulate this uh, play-in game. Let's go look at some stats. So here's Bajan's stats for this season. He went up two points to 81 overall now, and he made a huge leap. He went from 9.7 to 16, almost doubling his scoring, increased his rebounding, assists, and decreased his turnovers. And look at these shooting splits. He added 10%. I mean, this is an absolutely breakout year for him. I'm surprised he wasn't in the most improved player conversation. Here's his per 36s, and here's his advanced numbers off the charts. His pure point rating is still incredible. He has a chance to be a generational talent when it comes to assist rates. I mean, look at these numbers. But that's all regular season. That's all well and good, but we're here for the playoffs. We choked last time. We're in the definitely in the process of choking again. Can we make a comeback here? Get out of this first round. It's not looking good. Game seven. Ooh, clutch. What happened? Who did it? Who did it in game seven for us? Oh my goodness gracious. Chandler Vaudrin. 34, 6, 7, 3 on 14 of 20. This man put the team on his back and drug them out of the first round. His first playoff series victory, and he earned it. Now we're up against the seventh seed Atlanta Hawks. We should win, but you never know. We're up 3-1. Don't blow this. We are into the conference finals. Let's see, how would we do it? Game five here. Ooh, Vaudrin did, oh, I'm sorry, 16 assists. Shot wasn't falling, but good Lord, was he dishing it around. Let's look at some playoff stats for him. Uh, da -da -da -da. About the same, he has upped his assist rate considerably. He can't shoot the three anymore, and he's turning the ball over a little bit. But still, pretty darn good right here for his first deep playoff run. So we're in the conference finals now against the Pacers. I believe they have Nikola Jokic, so Mitchell Robinson's going to have his hands full. But I believe in the man. We have home court advantage again. Oh, it's going to come down to the wire. That's go. Oh, we're into the finals. That's what we wanted to see. How do we do it? Where is he? 16, 6, and 8, 1 turnover, light work, I mean, very casual, Bernie Cheeks, <laughs> I mean, I'll use any opportunity to say that man's name, I love that, let's look at these stats still, I mean, still pretty incredible, he shot the lights out in that series, he's on a 50, 34, almost 80, these are some really good stats, alright, up against the Jazz in the finals, I actually don't know who they have, so I'm going to sim uh, one game, which we lose, and let's see who they have. They have Donovan, Donovan Mitchell? Yes, Donovan Mitchell, Nas Reed. Yeah, I mean, this team doesn't look anything like, super special. What happened here? Why did we, Hernan, why is Juan Hernan Gomez in the year of our Lord? Uh, what year is this? 2025, starting in the finals. You know what, whatever. We're down 1-0, big comeback. Come on, boys. Oh, this is big. Oh, it's 3-2. Right, we're simcasting this one. We are at home in the garden. This is... I don't know when the last time the Knicks won the title. I think it was before I was born in the 90s or something. Huge game. Do we have the cojones to... Oh, no, we don't. Not here, at least. Ooh, that's a 30-point loss. That's tough. You know, that's real tough. Where was the man? Mm, he didn't show up. I'll say that. 4-11-7 and seven, didn't show up. Now, here's what it comes down to. Game seven. This is what the NBA wants. They want the ratings. We're on the road in Utah. 
Oh, it's a big one right here. We need to come out. We've come out slow the last two games. Oh, no. It's not looking great. It is. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to blow it. Oh, I can't believe we lost this. I mean, Vodger in 23, 5, 8, and 3, no turnovers. I mean, he was plus, He was positive. Was anyone else positive? Him and Mitchell Robinson. Other than that, garbage. Who sold? Why is... Why? Why is Marquise Chris playing in the playoffs, in the finals in 2025? This dude's barely in the league right now. Oh, well, it's close. It's close. We do win the, the Larry Bird, or the... I don't know. Someone on our team got the Larry Bird award trophy. I'm just going to say Vaudrin won that because it doesn't exist in this game, but it, it exists in our heart. So we're going to put that in his trophy case. So here's his final stats for the playoffs. Pretty good. 14 and a half, six and a half, nine and a half on 51, 36 and 81. I mean, that's pretty solid. His advanced stats are off the charts. I mean, he played really well in the playoffs and we were one game away from getting it. So it'll be very interesting. Is this team going to stay together? I don't know. And it's not up to me. So in free agency, the Knicks did not re-sign Chandler Vaudrin. Instead, he signed with the Los Angeles Lakers on a one-year, $13 million deal. So let's go change up the teams and get into the new season. Here is the Los Angeles Lakers roster, and Kyrie Irving is on this team, much to his delight, I assume. And Vaudrin is the only backup, so I guess he's going to be the backup one to start this season. Although this team is kind of weak in the other position, so his secondary forward positions, he would start at both of those. I don't know if they're going to play him there very much. Jared Allen's on this team. They kind of did him dirty. He's way better than 78, but oh well. JJJ and Frank Kaminsky, Wisconsin legend, are on this team. Let's actually check the game plan. Um, yeah, Vodger just going to be like a super sub. Could be a sixth man of the year candidate, maybe, because he's going to back up Kyrie at the point, and then he's going to get a lot of time at the wing as well. So that'll really show off his, uh, his other skills. So I'm very interested to see. So uh, let's go. Season five. Unimportant game here, but this is the first time Vodrin is going back to Madison Square Garden for the first time as an opponent. So let's see if he can make his impact felt. These teams are both bad, and it turns out the Knicks still won. Um, let's see what the problem here was. Where is the man? Eh, six, six, two, five turnovers, three of thirteen. Oof, he still he still bleeds orange. He's a Nick at heart. Ward time. Luca now on the Spurs wins the MVP. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Jonathan Isaac's the best defender ever to touch a court. Don't know who that is. Alvin Gentry continues his reign. Very nice. We're looking for Lakers now. Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Uh, JJJ. Okay, All NBA second team. Mm, 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 mm. That's it. We are not a good team. Do we make the playoffs? What is it with Vodger? He's either the three seed or the ten seed. Nothing else. Uh, let's see. Is this the one? Okay, we're moving on. We gotta go to Phoenix. Can we do it again? We cannot. Oh, so sad. Was it close? Mm, not really. They kind of had it under control. Let's see. Vodger. 17, 3, 6, 3. I mean, that's pretty good, all things considered. Where's Kyrie? Oh, is Kyrie hurt? No wonder we lost. Oops. Detroit Pistons, led by... Oh, the return of the prodigal son, Andre Drummond, with the 18 and 23 in the closeout game. Killian Hayes also has turned into like the goat. He, this dude's worthless IRL. No offense, but he's good here. Um, oh well, let's check out some stats for our boy. Season five here, 13, five and a half, seven and a half on pretty good shooting. Uh, his per 36 numbers are about the same. He just played less because he was, you know, the backup and all that. Uh, advanced stats, still love him. He His, his assist rate is still just comically good. Um, we can now look at his career stats. So about 11, 5, and 7.5. And That's not too bad. I would imagine he leaves. Yeah, I don't think he wants to be a backup again next year, but we'll see. Okay, in the free agency this year, he has left the Lakers. He has done with that show. He is going to Indianapolis. They had Jokic. I don't know if they still do. Let's go check out that roster. Here is this team, and Jokic is gone, unfortunately, and there's no superstars here. It's kind of an evenly balanced team, but they do already have a starting point guard in Patrick Banks, so it looks like Vodger is going to be the backup again. Paul George is back for his second tenure with the team. He is old, but, uh, you know, experienced right there. And uh, Demonis Sabonis is back too. We're just getting the gang back together. 
awful center play. I do not know how this team is going to do. Eh, we got a lot of depth. I mean, a lot of point guards. This is point guard saturated league right now. But let's do it. Season six. Up the check here. And six games into the year, Vaudrin cracked his neck vertebrae. It's going to keep him out for almost the entire year, which is too bad because he was playing very, very well. I mean, that PER is off the charts. It's only six games, so it's a small sample size. But this is basically a lost year for him, unfortunately. Words time. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Jonathan Isaac, GOAT defender for Boston now. Don't know and don't know. So we're getting to the point where we don't know anybody here. We're on the Pacers now. That's who we're looking for. Pacers, Pacers, Pacers. Oh, Patrick Banks, all defensive first team. Good on him. Good on him. And that's it. Nope. We had a second team all rookie. Pretty cool. So we did not make the playoffs because we were 35 and 47. But we won our last 10 games once Vaudrin came back. Um, terrible for the team lottery wise but pretty good for them so let's check the stats so he only played in 22 games this year only about a quarter what we could play but still 12 six and a half six and a half on pretty good shooting from him per 36 is play uh staying stable and uh, advanced stats i mean he's getting even better he's getting better year by year but this one was lost because injury don't know if he'll be back in indianapolis but this is a pretty good season he'll get paid the oklahoma city thunder have won their championship at led by mvp otis blake i believe very interesting the knicks get back to the finals without vaudrin and get swept so Oh well, on to the offseason. Massive uh, Hall of Fame class this year. Durant, Harden, Westbrook, the uh, the trio from OKC, ironically retire when OKC win the title and none of them have won one. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We lost Paul George. So Chandler Vaudrin will be taking his talents to South Beach. He's going to the Miami Heat on a one-year deal. He's bouncing all over this country, but let's switch to the Heat. So we are on the Heat, once again, a superstarless team, but it seems very even up top. We have a ton of point guards that are good. Wilcox, Jamal Murray's here, and Vaudrin. I don't know why they have so many. Shooting guards looking weak. We're back with Emmanuel quickly, though, who has yet to improve. Mm, Josh Green. Mm, I mean, this team is deep and solid. There's no real superstars, but it's a good up-down roster. I think we have a good chance to do something special this year, but we'll see. Awards time. Mm, oh, Cole Anthony, six man god, Greek boy. He's back for defense, and uh, that's it. Mark. Mm, I'm not going to say that name so this video doesn't get flagged, but he won the coach of the year. Remember when I said this team could be special? Well, we were special. We were especially bad. 32 and 50. We stunk up the joint. Didn't even make the play in tournament. But uh, we'll see these playoffs and then we'll go check some stats. Bulls return to glory with a championship behind Marcus good work for them but let's see what our man did he improved up to a 83 and is now a two-way threat so his defense got better let's see the stats wise not too bad 12 and a half seven and a half seven and a half on pretty good shooting across the board those are pretty healthy numbers right there per 36s are pretty solid as well the advanced stats still love him i mean he is a good player right here can't quite break through that next level but he's probably going to leave the heat find a new team so we'll see so he actually didn't sign with anyone. He is a free agent still. So I don't know what's going to happen here. I would assume he gets signed at the beginning of the year. He's 83 overall, which is like still pretty good, even though the ratings have inflated a little bit. But we'll see if he picks up on a team. If not, you know, we'll have to make something happen. Yeah, so here he is. He's the best free agent available. Him and DeJounte Murray. I mean, these are really good players. They want a lot of money, and I don't think anyone has any cap space, but I imagine he gets signed pretty soon. So we'll check in like 10 days. The Boston Celtics picked him up immediately on a vet min deal. One year, $2 million. What a steal. All right, Celtics it is. The Celtics have just a ton of point guards. I don't know why they signed this dude, other than he was a steal. So they got him and JP. Uh, Jalen Brown's long gone. Oh, no, there he is. Jalen Brown's still here. Jason Tatum's still here. Defensive god Jonathan Isaac is here. Okay, this team actually looks not too bad right here. So I know I said this last year, but I really think we got some juice this year. Okay, award time. No, no. Oh, 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 oh. Sixth man of the year. 12, six and a half, seven on some really good shooting split. The best of his career. Finally, we get a award for Chandler Bodger. Outstanding news. See if there's any other Celtics in here. We went 56 and 26, so we're a pretty good team. Not seeing anybody. We're just a, you know, 
evenly balanced team. That's all right. What do we got here? We're the one seed. Let's go. So Vajran has improved two more points. He's up to 85 overall. He's the second best player in this team behind Tatum. Here are stats, 12, 6 and a half, 7, really good shooting splits. His per 36 is about the same, they're just giving him more opportunities. And again, the advanced stats love this guy. His assist rate is going to be like the NBA record. It's 40%. Round 1 here against the Hawks. We, uh, I mean, we're the one seed. We obviously are favored at all times, so I'm expecting wins. We're getting losses. I'm very sad. Please, all right won the first round second round here we are up against the wizards of washington looking for a clean series here it's not going very well at all and we lose in five very nice boys somebody sold who was it here's vajran's playoff stats not too bad a little dip in rebounding but pretty solid overall improved his scoring mm, about the same as the regular season it was not his fault i'm starting to think vajran is just cursed his teams are just bad in the playoffs he's performing pretty well but we're just running into I don't know. And why is it like the four seed, the two four seeds? This has never happened. This will never happen. We did lose to the eventual champion Wizards led by Gary Griffin. <sighs> I mean, good run as a Celtics. He's probably going to leave again. So don't get used to it. Oh my God. Who could have predicted this? Chandler Vajan finally gets a four year deal. Four years, $126 million. He is going back to the Knicks where he started his career. He finally has some security. No more one-year deals. The hustle has paid off. He was one of the first guys assigned who was their priority. This is a big day, and we are moving forward as the Knicks. We don't have to shift teams anymore. Let's go. So here's the Knicks team that we joined now. Vodger is obviously the starting point guard on this team. Finally has earned that role. Pretty Kelvin, pretty good shooting guard. Isaac Okoro is here, and this guy, Rudd, and Ethan Dennis, a superstar. Two-way, three-level score. This kid a rookie? Oh, he's the first overall pick a couple years back. Okay, he looks like a stud. So this team, this team has some star power and a little bit of depth, and I think, I know I say this often, but I think we're actually pretty good here. We've got five guys, six guys above 80. All right, let's see what we can do here. Award season, don't know him, don't know him. Nope, Greek boy still around. Mm, Mark, love this dude. He's a good coach apparently. So we're looking for Knicks once again. It's refreshing to uh, look back for our New York teams. Ethan, this kid's a stud. We went 47 and 35, good for the fifth seed. So we will be playing the Detroit Pistons in round one, but let's check out some stats first. Here are the stats on the season. So 13 and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, very good on very good shooting for Vodgren as well. 36 numbers are good. Advanced numbers as usual are outstanding. Unfortunately, he does have a severely sprained ankle that's gonna keep him out at least this first series. So if we don't beat the Pistons, we will not see Vodgren in the playoffs, but let's get to it. Take game one, love that. Game two, love that. Oh, come on, big one right there, game four. Let's close this out. Let's close this out at home. Yes, all right, excellent, excellent. Vodgren is still out for another week or two, so we'll have to see if he'll come back for this one. I'm only gonna sim a couple games, see if he's back in time. Ooh, okay, let's finish it, finish it at home. Oh, oh, we blew a 3-1. I think Vodrum came back and helped us blow that 3-1. What happened? 14, 6, and 11. I mean, it wasn't him. It, was, it wasn't Vodrum who was doing it wrong. What happened in the back end here? Let's see. Vodrum did not play game five. What about game six? Mm, he came back 15, 6, 8, and 2. Yeah, it definitely wasn't him. Everyone else sold two titles for the Thunder here behind Joseph. Um, so decent season from Vaudrin, some injury troubles, but he is staying in New York, so that's refreshing. We can go right through the offseason. We don't have to worry about any of this, unless they trade him, which I guess they could, but they, they probably won't do that. Here's our roster going into the next season as the Knicks. I'm not sure what number it is for Vaudrin. Dennis is 92. Barrett's up to 85. Vaudrin's still 85. We've got a pretty good team. Tyrese Maxey's now on here. Here's the depth chart. Pretty solid team, except for the small forward position. But I, if I was the coach, you know, I'd put Maxi in there a little bit more, have Vodrin go play the three, but that's just me. We'll have to see what they do. Awards. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Oh, Otis. All right, brother. Uh, Micah changing it up. Okay, we're looking for Knicks again. Ethan Daniels on the all-NBA first team. You love to see that. 
Ooh, okay, we got a rookie. I thought that was odd. Ooh, Chandler Vaudrin, all NBA third team. He's up to 86 overall. Let's look at his stats while we're here. Uh, 16, 7, and 8 on really good shooting. After a dip in the three-point last year, he is back. 36-minute stats, incredible. PER, I mean, off the charts. He's an analytics darling, this guy is, and finally has made an All-NBA team. That is outstanding. We went 53-29. and 29. We won like 16 of our last 20 games to get back to this third seed. Makes me nervous, I'll say that. Okay, we are the three seed playing the Cavaliers. I don't know why I couldn't think about that. Uh, we dropped the first game. All right, love to see that. Dropped the third game. All right, down 3-1. Oh, mm-hmm. And we get eliminated in the first round. I don't know what it is. If his game does not translate to the playoffs, I don't know. He just, we fold. Maybe it's the Knicks. We just fold. Is the Thunder winning another title led by Joseph again over the Bulls? Look at the roster here. Not too much has changed. Everyone's starting to slip a little bit except for Ethan. Uh, Vaudrin is on the downslide perhaps, but he's still a very solid player. Uh, A's and B's across the board, so... I don't know, we pretty deep team, but we lack the star power. We'll have to see. Let's let's find out. Award time. Uh, we're getting to people I've never heard of. All right. Looking for any Knicks here. Ethan is absolutely the truth. You love to see that. Any more Knicks? Uh, I'm not seeing them, and therefore I don't care. We went 55 and 27. Good for the number one seed in the East this year. Very good. Let's look at some stats before we get into our inevitable playoff disappointment. No Vaudrin this year, 14, 8, and 6 on very good shooting again. He needs to shoot it more, honestly, if he's going to play like that. Per 36 is about in line with his average. Once again, an analytic darling. And once again, he has got sandpaper, tissue paper ankles out there. He's hurt, so he's probably going to miss this first round series, but hopefully we can take care of the Heat. His former team, I, yeah, his former team, without him. And then he can join us for the second round, but let's see. 2-0, 2-1, love that. Come on, come on, there we go, let's finish it. Finish it at home. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if he's back. He's day-to-day, -day, so he's probably going to miss... Uh, probably gonna miss a couple of these games we can get a couple wins without him or maybe he's a detriment i don't know but he's probably back now and we are moving on to the eastern conference finals he was indeed back for game 5 16 11 and 4 way to announce himself back game one he also played and he came back and dropped 34 8 and 3 i mean you know light work nothing nothing to see there 12 9 and 7 and then uh, 17 8 and 7 so he's back he's balling we're in the eastern conference finals again Got the magic here. It's been a while since they've been any good. Let's see if we can take care of business here. They're the seven seed. We of course have home court advantage. Three one. Oh, don't don't do it. Oh no no no. Why do we why do we fumble the bag every time? Every, there will never be a six seven matchup. This is so unrealistic from 2K. There has like never been a champion that has not been like a top three seed except for like once. Why can't we win? I just want one title for the man. The seven seed magic. Go ahead and win. Like, that would never happen. Young Ratliff. All right, fine. Let's get to the offseason. So here's our roster going into the next season. This is the final season of Vaudrin's contract with the Knicks. So this might be the last run for him. Ethan Dennis, I mean, he's the truth. Vaudrin is the clear number two. And then after that, we just got a bunch of guys. I mean, they're all solid, but there's no one spectacular. You know, I don't know how well this is going to go. Bernie Shelton down there, but uh, we have a lot of centers, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, award time. Who? No, 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 no. Jesus, seventy-one and eleven. Who was that? Uh, so we're the one seed in the East. So Dallas must be the one seed in the West with seventy-one wins. That's absolutely ridiculous. Before we get to uh, losing in the playoffs, once again, let's go look at his stats. So on the year, thirteen and a half, almost ten assists, and then six and a half boards. Very good. Pretty good shooting. Forgot how to hit the three this year, but that's probably just a a little blip. The analytics. I mean, once again, love him. And stop me if you've heard this before. But the man's got an ankle sprain. He has glass ankles. He cannot stay on the court. So he's going to be out for this first series against, oh, not the Magic. They eliminated us last year. They were like a, the seven seed last year. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, why not? Let's let's see. Oh, 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 mm, there it is. All right, we got the win. 
moving on. Audrin's day to day right now, so he'll probably miss the first game, probably come back. All right, so he'll be back now. All right, let's finish the sweep, finish the sweep. Ooh, don't do this. All right, there we go, fine, fine. Back in the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm worried that we're gonna get to the finals and get run through by the Mavs. We gotta beat the Hawks first, so let's do it here. We're the top seed, we got home court. Sweep, sweep. Ooh, all right, it's, it's us and the Mavs. In the finals, we're back. Knicks in the finals, babies. Let's go see what the Mavs got. Okay, so they have, uh, we have the best player in Ethan, I believe, but they have a pretty stacked team. Oh my lord, they have so many guys in the 80s. Good lord, yeah, they are very deep. And to add insult to injury, our man Ethan's got a stomach bug right now, so he's gonna be a little meh for the first game. So it's gonna have to be the Vaudrin show game one. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Let's see how that goes. Why not? Let's see how the Vaudrin show goes in Dallas. It's close. It's going to be real close. Now nah, they're going to win. Yeah, they won. What happened? Ugh. Vaudrin, 16, 9, and 3. I mean, it's, it's solid. I don't have a good feeling. This team looks really, really good. Just don't get swept. Okay. 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 All right. At home here. This is probably our best shot maybe vaudrin's only shot is this game to get a title we need this one right here we're off to an awful start trying to come back it's close Ooh, it's real close we've got the lead oh come on boys hang on we just need some buckets and some stops oh this is going down to the wire i almost want to jump in at the end and watch it we're blowing it we're blowing it oh it's tied with a I gotta watch it. I'm not gonna play. I'm just gonna watch it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. They've got the ball. They can't quite hold for the last shot, but they're gonna try to get pretty close here. No, I'd love a stop. You know, I'd, I'd really enjoy if we got them to not score here. Oh, is Vaudrin out there? I don't see him. I don't think he is unless he changes his number to 11. That's him down there. That actually might be him. Yeah, I think that is him. Oh, no. Oh. That hurts. That hurts a lot, you know? I don't know. If that Anthony Edwards, I don't know. He just rose up and put a dagger in Knicks fans' hearts. If Spike Lee's still alive courtside, he is in pain, physical pain, I'd say. Um, let's get the... We need a three. I mean, God, that was such a big shot. That was a, such a big time shot. That was Ray Allen level shot right there. DeAndre Ayton, what do you do? Let me see it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty solid. All right, kids, who's getting the who's getting the rock right here? Oh. Fires it. Oh! He rimmed it out. Oh, it was it was halfway down. God, that stings. That one hurts a lot. That one hurts a lot a lot. I um don't know what to say about that one, but we're going to go back and sim cast it. I have a horrible horrible feeling that we're going to lose this game 7 by like 40. That was our shot right there. We needed it. We folded in the fourth. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe. We've got a shot. I mean, it's a game seven. You know, it's not over till it's over, but... Oh, I don't know. It's... Oh, it's close again. Please don't fold again. Oh, we're folding. Oh, we're folding. We're folding. We're folding. No, no, no. We're gonna lose. Oh, my God. I actually can't believe this. 16, 10, and 7. Well, the Knicks are cursed. We can't win. We can't do it. I don't know what what is wrong, but we cannot win a title. He is going to retire ringless. <clears throat> Alright, so we've simmed up through free agency. Vaudrin could have re-signed with the Knicks. We don't know. He's still here. He re-upped. Three years, 64 million. He's getting the bag, actually. He's up to like a quarter of a billion in money here. He's on the downward slide a little bit. They did pick up Evan Mobley, though. Nice little starting lineup right here. This should be it. Um, you know, team's, you know, decent. Can we, uh, get over the hump? I doubt it. The team's looking pretty good. It's still all pretty much gonna come down to how good Ethan is. He's 93 overall. Baudrin's the third best player, but, uh, we'll see what we can do. I don't have high hopes. Words time. MVP is the New York Nick Ethan Dennis, baby. 23 and 18 and five and a half. This dude is unbelievable we should easily be the favorites now because of him he's out of this world let's see if there's any more here oh 
Nope, he dislocated his patella. Never mind, we're done. Here's Vodran's stats for the season. 12 and a half, 8 and a half, 5 and a half on excellent shooting. He fixed his three-point stroke after last season. He's playing very well, um, but I don't know if we have much hope. We are the three seed here against his former team in the Pacers. So let's see what we can do here. Not having Ethan, I mean, it's really putting a damper on it. I don't really think we have the ceiling to win without him. But, uh, you know, we're putting up a fight. We got a first-round series win. That's pretty cool. I have to play the Raptors. We are going north of the border to face our Canadian members here. We took two at home, three-game series. L, game seven, big L. Let's see. What was the... Oh, yeah, we got cut up. What was the problem here? Vaudrin. 10, 9, 5, I mean, eh, he's got to be a little bit better than that. And the Los Angeles Lakers, another former team of Chandler Vaudrin, wins the title, led by Dell Singleton. Good for him. And the Mavericks, who won 71 games last year, didn't even make the playoffs, which is kind of weird, but okay. Well, into the offseason, we still got two more years of contract, so we'll be a Nick. Okay, here we are in year 14 for Vaudrin. He is 35, still chugging along strong at 81 overall. He is obviously the starting point guard. We have a ton of depth behind him because why not? And then the rest of the team is our wing depth is, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, it's bad. It's real bad. Okay, but we got Mobley and we got the truth up here at the five. So it's going to be a three-man operation. Is that going to be enough? I don't think so, but, you know, we'll see. Let's see him the regular season, see what we can do. Ward season, and of course it's Ethan again. 23, 18, and 5. I mean, this dude's unstoppable. Defensive player of the year. He's the best dude in the league. I mean, I don't know how else we can say it. Steve Kerr, still still around. Co no. Come on. Why are we so fragile, people? Jesus. Here are Vaudrin's stats in year 14, about 12 points, 5 boards, 7 dimes. His numbers are starting to slip a little bit. I think he might have been moved into a little bit of a bench roll towards the end of the season. Up, 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 um, ah, he missed a couple games here and there. Did not get a triple-double for the first time in a while, so he is starting to slide a little bit. Still is 80 overall, though. I mean, his per 36 numbers look pretty good, and, I mean, he's an analytics darling. We've been over this. His career assist rate is 38%. We went 49-33, which is somehow good enough for the first seed. Must be really clumped up in here, so I would not be surprised to see a lot of updates, or uh, updates, upsets. Um, I mean, we're the Knicks. We're, we're, not, we're not built for this. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe? First round? Yep, first round loss. I mean, I'm not going to be lying to you at all. I kind of expected it. Trailblazers finally get a W. Uh, Dame Lillard is long gone, but Cade Cunningham, age 33, wow, it's been a while, is uh, still here and kicking. But, uh, yep, that's it for this. Vaudrin's getting towards that age. we got to start worrying about retirement, so I am going to check that right away. But uh, I think he's got one or two left in him. Ooh, some great players retired right here. Book, Jokic, Adebayo, Mitchell, Fox. But uh, don't see... Our boy Vaudrin, I think he's going to keep sticking around a little bit longer. Here's our roster moving forward. Vaudrin is definitely on the back side of his career. He's sliding down. He's down to 78 now. So he might be the backup point guard. It's still the Dennis show. Mobley's still around. And after that, it's not looking too good. I don't know what uh, I don't know what the future holds here. This is his last season. This might be his last season because it's the only one in his contract. We'll have to uh, cherish the man this year. As I went in here, I changed Vaudrin to a small forward. He went up to an 80. He's a little bit unathletic to be a point guard now, and we actually do need a small forward, so he will be the starting three now. So getting a little older, he's still got the size to be a wing, obviously, so we're going to try him out there for the tail end of his career. So I was just looking through the stats right here, and Vaudrin re-upped. He got a two-year contract for $27 million, so helping the team cap sheet-wise, and he's got two more years, so I don't think he's going to retire anytime soon, so he's going to keep on chugging. He is dropping, but he's still a 79. Wards, uh, don't recognize any of these fellas. I think our boy Ethan got hurt. Uh, I'm not seeing the man anywhere. I'm not seeing any Knicks anywhere. Tough, brutal. Well, we went 35 and 47, not even good enough for the play in. So we're just check some stats and zip through this. Stats for Chandler here, still slipping, but 11, 6, and 5 on decent shooting. He's kind of lost his three point stroke, but he's still not too bad. The per 36s are pretty solid. And the advanced stats, he's still an above average player at 36, which is pretty cool. He's 15 years in the league and he's still putting up these kind of numbers, so not too bad. The Brooklyn Nets win their first title in Brooklyn. Kirk Hart got the MVP. Don't don't know who that is. I'm going to say it's Josh Hart's nephew to keep the continuity because why not? Let's go to the offseason, see what we can do. 
Here's the roster for the next season. We are really sliding here. Even Ethan Dennis is starting to get those injuries piled up. And then uh, Mobley and Vaudrid are kind of old. I don't really have a good feeling about this. I don't even see our first round pill. Must have been one of these guys. But still, mm, not looking great. So I was just rolling along, not minding my business. Just went to check some stats. And apparently, Vaudrid was traded by the Knicks along with McGuire to the Timberwolves. I don't know why they shipped him out there. But he is now a Minnesota Timberwolf. So let's go look at him real quick. See what the stats are. See what that team is. They sent him to a better situation, a worse situation. Tony Smith looks pretty good. I mean, his team looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, Vaudrin's definitely a bench piece here, but oh, this might be a this might be a good shot for him. So we're a Timberwolves fan base now, and this is much better. We went from a under 500 team, and now we're 20 games above 500. So the Knicks did us a solid. We're going to finish out this season and uh, hopefully go to the playoffs. Wards here, our very own longtime, you know, big fan, Tony Smith is the MVP. So that's super nice. Uh, also the defensive player of the year. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Micah Nor, this dude knows how to coach. That all there is to it. We're looking for Timberwolves now, and Tony Smith is the number one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, another Timberwolves, this dude broke his arm, still pretty good though, alright. Tony Smith's the best defender, and alright, that's pretty cool. Where are we? We are the fourth seed with 52 wins, that's a far cry. The Knicks are, the Knicks are nowhere to be found in the playoffs. I know that's a, a shock, but uh. You know, they're not here. Let's look at some stats and then see what we can do in the playoffs. So his stats are slipping here as he's moving into a bench roll down to 8, 4, and 4.5. Four and his shooting splits are meh, not, not great, not bad. Per 36 numbers are pretty solid. He is playing less, though. And the advanced numbers, like, of course, the assists are still there, but he is starting to slip a little bit. We are the four seed, as we said, moving through the playoffs here. We are gone from New York. Hopefully, we left the playoff curses back there. We swept the Sacktown Kings in the first round. Very nice, very nice. We are now facing the Jazz in round two. We're definitely an underdog here. We take game one, though. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta keep uh, keep fighting here. All right, three game series. All right, moving on. Upset win right there. All right, we're the lowest seeded left. That's typically been pretty good for these guys. Got the Trailblazers. They did win a chip a couple years ago. Are we gonna sweep them? Just swept them? Okay. Wolves in the playoffs. Let's go look at some uh, playoff stats real quick. So Vajran's not scoring, but he is diming out there. He is dishing the rock and 42% uh, assist rate. He is out there to pass. Okay, Timberwolves Pistons in the finals here is an odd matchup. Let's see what we got here. We've been rolling so far. Just got to keep it up. Oh, 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 game seven. Oh, it's game seven. We're probably going to be on the road here, I would imagine. No, we're at home. Wow, we're the four seed in the West, and that's better than the one seed in the Heat. You know what? I'm not here to ask questions. We're here to... Uh, Simulate with Simcast. This legitimately might be his last shot to get a ring. Oh, and it's, oh, I'm nervous. Can we just come out here and execute? We're at home. Oh, it's going to be close. We're losing, though. Ooh. Need a big fourth quarter. We need some players to step up here. We need some players to step up here. Come on. This dude is cursed. We can't win. We just don't know how to do it. Where's our center? Oh, he went 27 and 10. Yeah, that's pretty good. Where's Vaudrin? I mean, he's a non-factor. Missed three free throws, though, guy. That's going to sting. Ugh, we lose again. It's so frustrating. He is not giving up yet. He is still uh, hanging around for another season, so we're going to sim on through. Here's the team coming off of our finals loss. We have a very good point guard. We have absolutely nothing on the wings. Vaudrin's are basically our only backup. And then uh, it's basically all Tony Smith. This is the Tony Smith show, and we're going to go as far as he can take us. Award time. Of course, it's Tony. Yeah, it's always Tony. It's Tony again. I mean, 23, 12, 4. I mean, this dude's unbelievable. Vaudrin stats here. We're really slipping 7, 3, 3 and a half. Still pretty good efficiency, and his per 36s are good, but he's just not playing as much. And advanced stats, I mean, we know this dance. We went 60 and 22, good for the best record in the West, and I would assume best record in the whole conference or the whole league. So we should have home court throughout the playoffs. Should we go that far? We get a quick sweep of the Lakers in the first round. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Let's just get right into round two. There's no point in waiting around here. We do drop our first game right there. I have confidence in this team. Should I? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I shouldn't. I'm starting to think Vaudrin's just cursed. He can't win a chip. 
the Pistons with another W behind Dion Stewart Jr. Let's get into the offseason and check the retirements. And no Vaudrin to be found. This dude loves the game of basketball. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get signed. The Timberwolves might bring him back, but uh, we'll see. Okay, the Timberwolves did re-sign Vajran on a one-year minimum deal. There is not a lot of interest in him, I don't think. But here is our team, pretty much the same as before. Vajran's the, he's still the backup uh, three, I suppose. And once again, we're just going to go as far as Tony takes us. And now we have Istvan Sandor. We got two massive dudes up front that are really good. So, I don't know. We'll see what's up. Boards, Tony, Tony. I mean, we've been here before, we know the drill. Again, continuing his slide, four and a half, two and a half, two and a half, not too bad per 36s are solid and, you know, advanced numbers are, you know, he's an average player, but he's 39, so he's doing it incredibly long. That 61 win team, so we are obviously the overwhelming favorites to win the title, but since Vodger is on our team, we probably will not do so, but we're going to go out there and give 100%. We did get the sweep right away, sent those Mavericks packing back to Dallas, made them stay there. Now the Warriors, I think Steph Curry is around 60 at this point in time, so we don't have to worry about him, but apparently we have to worry about someone else because they are winning and they have eliminated us for the second straight year. The Western Conference semifinals, we lose to a lower seed. I'm not surprised. You probably shouldn't be either if you're still watching this video at this point. 76ers take the victory. Uh, Vodrin's 39. That might have been his last ride. He said he wanted to keep playing, but we will see if he is on that retirement list. And there he is, Chandler Vaudrin, finally hangs him up at the age of 40 after 17 years in the pros. I mean, an incredible run from him. Never could get over the hump and win a title, but uh, I mean, these stats, they speak for themselves. We'll go down here and look at his career stats over 18 years. He went 11 points, 7 assists, 5.5 rebounds. Those are watered down by some lean years at the end, but still... 49, 35, 73 in the shooting splits. That's pretty nice right there. As for totals, 13,800, 6,700 rebounds. And this is pretty high in the all-time assist numbers. We'll have to go check that. 1,000 steals, 300 blocks, which is a lot for someone like him. It's right on the edge of being in the Hall of Fame. I'm not quite sure if he's going to quite make it, though. There are Hall of Fame inductees, um, but it might be someone else. It's going to be close. Vaudrin retired with the 17 most assists of all time. These guys above him are in the Hall of Fame. Andre Miller is not. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Okay, up to Hall of Fame inductees. He did not make it. He will go into the Hall of Very Good, unfortunately. Not the Hall of Fame. Jersey retirements. And he didn't get his jersey retired either. The disrespect from the New York Knicks. But that is where we're going to end this video, guys. Thank you very much for coming out and watching all of this for all 18 years of Chandler Vaudrin's career. I think it was a great run after he graduated from Winthrop. Knocked around, made an all-NBA team, made about $300 million in his career, you know. Just a really good, solid player, and he'll be welcome back in the guard at any time for his contributions. Thank you guys for coming out and watching. It took me like six-something hours to record this, so I don't know how long it's going to end up being, but know that I took me all afternoon to do this one day, so I appreciate it if you're still here. And if you are still here, please remember to hit that subscribe button, share these videos, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate you coming out here, though, and remember, I will see you next time.